June 4th, The Never-Failing God For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Hebrews 13, verse 5 What line does my thought take? Does it turn to what God says, or to what I fear? Am I learning to say not what God says, but to say something after I have heard what he says? He hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do to me. I will in no ways fail thee. Not for all my sin and selfishness and stubbornness and waywardness. Have I really let God say to me that he will never fail me? If I have listened to this say-so of God's, then let me listen again. Neither will I in any ways forsake thee. Sometimes it is not difficulty that makes me think God will forsake me, but drudgery. There is no hill of difficulty to climb, no vision given, nothing wonderful or beautiful, just the commonplace day in and day out. Can I hear God say so in these things? We have the idea that God is going to do some exceptional things, that he is preparing and fitting us for some extraordinary thing by and by. But as we go on in grace, we find that God is glorifying himself here and now, in the present minute. If we have God say so behind us, the most amazing strength comes and we learn to sing in the ordinary days and ways.